Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. We are back with Knack 2, a very hard mode on the PlayStation 4. And once again, we are still traveling through this beautiful forest. In the last video, we found out that these are the ruins of a high goblin temple. So this place is probably sacred to the goblins. So I'm going to assume that this might be the reason why the city was being attacked at the beginning of the game. Because Knack and Lucas have come poking their nose around in goblin ruins. You know, it's probably a sacred place. And they're probably a little bit salty about it. So they might have attacked the city. That's what I'm assuming anyway. Like I said, I've not played much of the game. I'm actually further on YouTube than I am in my own playthrough. So <laughs> this is going to be blind once again. Right. I think there's still one treasure chest. Yeah, one treasure chest left. So as always, keep an eye out for any holes that we might be able to sneak into. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a secret area. The uh, the cogs were blocked with rocks. So we should be able to pull this now, shouldn't we? Yeah. I love the visuals in this game. They've got such a clean, crisp feel to them. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just like something about them. Oh, there's a couple of traps ahead. Maybe we should send Lucas first. Go on, Lucas. Go on, my son. Get in there, boy. Go on. There's nothing to be afraid of. Don't worry about that goblin at the back. He ain't going to hurt you. I think there might be two, actually. Yep, there's two. Go on. Lucas, you deal with the traps. Ryder, you deal with the goblins. And I'll just stand here and watch. Let's just wait for them to do their parts. And then we'll carry on. Even Lucas put his hands up like that then. Like he doesn't know what to do. Okay, let's go and do all the work now. Screw them. Hopefully they get killed in this playthrough. I really wish that there was more games like uh, Elder Scrolls where you have friendly fire. I'll tell you though, that was actually a bit of a problem because when I when I first played Elder Scrolls, I played Morrowind first. I think it was on an Xbox, the original Xbox, and uh, it was it was a terrible game. I didn't like it. Like I don't know about the actual game. I mean like like performance wise, it was terrible. I couldn't actually play the damn game. It was really bad. On the Xbox. I don't know how it was on PC. I don't think I even had a PC back then either. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And uh, I, pl I uh, played that, but I didn't get very far. I think I'd done like a little small bit of the game and then I gave up. Then I got a PS3. And then I bought, I think I hired from the video shop. Back when there used to be video shops like Blockbuster and that. I hired, uh, rented the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. And it was absolutely amazing. That is still one of my favourite games of all time. I actually prefer it to Skyrim. And um, I didn't know that there was anything like friendly fire in the game. To me, every time you killed somebody in the game, or any time someone died, they would respawn, you know. Well, I didn't know that in Oblivion, and I think I was in Bruma. I think it's the city near the uh, those knights. The knights that look after the uh, emperor. Shut up, you two. I think it's the knights that look after the emperor. I can't remember what they're called. But, um, yeah. Because it's like Clad 9 Temple or something. And then at the bottom of it, there's a town called Bruma. You have to go there and kill some spies that are looking for the Emperor. Well, um, I went into that town one day and I killed everybody there. I just felt like killing everybody there. Because I think I was getting annoyed with the guards arresting me. So I killed everyone there. And then, uh, yeah, I saved the game. Went off, went to bed. Come back onto the game the next morning. Everybody was still dead. And uh, it was later... Later on, when I finally got a PC and I googled it and found out that they don't respawn. And I actually missed out on doing a lot of quests. So, uh, like lots of side quests and stuff. And I think I couldn't even join the Mages Guild, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. Make sure if you ever play in these games, you research if there's friendly fire or not. Because it could really screw you over. I think I completed Oblivion fully three times. Including the Shivering Isles and Knights of the Nine and all that stuff. Love that game. I am tempted to do it on YouTube. I say it all the time, but I never end up doing it. But I really am tempted to do it. Ah, I'm in the mud. <laughs> so I wonder how hard these relics are that Knack is made of. Obviously, Knack is made of relics and relic energy, but how hard are the relics? Are they like as hard as rock? Is there a bit of squidginess to them? 
Because these body slams must hurt like hell. Especially with Nat. Because he's not exactly very rand, is he? He's got quite a lot of spikes on him. He looks a little bit like a dinosaur, doesn't he? Don't know what dinosaur is with the spikes on their back. Probably a few dinosaurs like that, ain't there? Oh, what a shot. Oops. Oh, we've got enough for a skill point. I'm doing it too quick. There we go. Right, let's have a look at the skill points then. I think I'm going to put the first one of these points into dodge speed up. As I'm playing this on very hard, dodging is very important. So I think I'm going to put my first point in here. I might get this one later. This is the one where you hold square and you punch very fast. If you watched my demo playthrough, you would have seen this. It's pretty good, you know. But whilst you're holding square and unleashing punches, you're open to attack. So it's probably not the best in very hard. So I wonder how you unlock these two here. Because they don't look like they're connected. Oh well, never mind. Couple more relics over here. We're now seven foot three inches. Oh shit. It's feeling a bit easier at the moment. I don't know why. It's probably because we're only fighting like normal goblin enemies. Once you get further in the game, we're going to fight other things like the robot enemies and those monks in that temple that we had to do in chapter 3 of the demo. I'm not looking forward to doing that bit for a second time. That was insane. They absolutely murder you. They are proper badass and they're really quick as well. Wait up, Nick. Uh, actually, you two should wait up. I'm glad we're finally out of the woods. Hmm. Goblin pyramids. Is that what you wanted to show me? That's part of it. Come on. Well, let's get going then. Chapter 2, Part 3. Into the Ruins. Yeah, we're, we're going to end up disturbing some sort of like sacred flipping burial site and then it's going to annoy the goblins and they're going to like attack the bloody city, ain't they? That's what's going on. I guess we missed a treasure chest. Yeah, we missed one of the treasure chests in the other uh, chapter. Oh, well, never mind. There's two in this chapter, so we'll have to keep our eyes open. I, I, I could look a bit more, you know, but I don't want to spend too long looking for chests because it'll, prob it'll probably bore you guys, you know. I mean, if, if you want me to look for all of the chests, you know, and properly look for them, let me know in the comments. If you want me to, like, go hardcore with it, I will. But if not, then I'll just do what I'm doing now. I'll have a quick look around. These buildings oh. are huge. How did the goblins ever build them? Well, back then, they had an empire that stretched all across this world. Yeah, and I guess we ruined it for them because humans ruin everything. There's a little hole there and there's also a little hole over here. I, I, I like to go the opposite way of Lucas and uh, Ryder. So if they was to actually walk ahead for once, I would know which area is more likely to be a secret area. It feels really good, like dodging faster. It does. Be careful in there. Oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! I'm too cute and adorable. I can't be doing this. Let me out! I wanted to go the other way as well to check if there was anything in there. We we'll have to do it after if we can. Hopefully, I've not missed one now. Oh, Nack, you are absolutely adorable. So it looks like we've got to go over there. Where's the door? Okay, so we're going to have to open up this door by the looks of it and then jump across this little ledge bit here. I'm feeling a little bit like Link. I nearly made a very big mistake and said I'm feeling like Zelda. That would have annoyed everybody. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling like Link at the moment, smashing all these pots. Got to be honest with you, that's one of my gaming sins. I don't think I've ever played... A uh, Zelda game. Ever. 
the closest I've ever gotten is that game Ocean Horn or whatever it is. That's supposed to be a little bit like a little bit like Zelda, I think. I think I've got to come up here first because I need to get some more relics. That's what I came up here to do, Lucas. How about instead of ordering me around, you get your ass in here and help me? You could have crawled through that hole. You're skinny enough. Why didn't my parts just go through the bars? I think my parts could have fit through those bars pretty easily, but whatever. Oh, okay, we're going up here then. Oh, what's that? Oh, I thought it was going to be something cool then. <laughs> that wasn't very cool. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed. Oh, hang on, can I jump in there? Nope. Oh, don't, don't you love doing that? It's so fun to just get all your relics, drop them off in a little pile, and then just run around in them. I, I, apologies that I'm not recording this in 60 FPS, because like I said, this is actually higher FPS than 30, you know, if you have it set to unlocked. It might be 60 FPS on PS4 Pro, I've not really checked. But because my capture card is having such mega issues at the moment, I can't risk going on 60 FPS in case it ruins the recording, you know. So sorry about it if, you're, uh, if it bothers you. Once I get a new capture card or something, then maybe we will. How the devil did you two get in here? Riddled with puzzles and traps. I wouldn't say it's a puzzle. I mean, there's a lever up there. Let's go over here first and have a look up here. Nope, just some more relics. So what do I have to... I guess we need to bring this with us. Strange. Doors were all open last time. Huh. Interesting. Oh yeah, we're probably going to need this to climb up there. Because for some reason, Lucas and Ryder love rushing ahead when I can't go that way. But the second... Uh, I'm not even sure what I'm saying now. I forgot completely what I was saying and I, my mind just went blank. Blank. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we need both of these though to get up there. I'm going to have to rush actually very quickly. I'm going to assume that we've already missed a... Uh, oh no. Quick. I'm going to assume that we have already missed a... Um, Those puzzles were no match for our wits. Our wits. Knack was the one that solved it. Exactly. Exactly, Luke. Thank you, Lucas. It's about time you gave me some recognition. It's sort of like at the beginning of the game. I mean, look how he's looking at him. He's like, Lucas, mate. You keep taking credit for my work. I'm going to fuck you up. I mean, look at him. He's going to fuck Lucas up. It's as simple as that. You know, but at the beginning of the game, he says that him and Knack saved the world. No. No, you didn't, Lucas. It was all me and Knack, more like. You did nothing. Oh, dear. Look at this lot. Okay, so what way do we want to go? Oh, there we go. Right. So we've got some like chain link elevator over there. I'm not going to go that way, yeah? I'm going to come and look over here. But yeah, I'm going to... Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, here we go. Oh. That was close. No, there, there ain't nothing in here. Like, nothing proper. It, it is nice getting some of the relic energy, you know. But I definitely prefer a treasure chest, you know. It's just fun opening them up. It's always fun hoping to get a diamond or something, you know? Because I'm going to assume that Diamond Knack is in it again. This is the kind of game where I enjoy collectibles, you know? 
because I like it when the uh, collectibles actually have a use, you know. Sort of like in Ratchet and Clank. What's the collectible in that? It's bolts, ain't it? Golden bolts. When you do it in Ratchet and Clank, you get like other costumes, I think, in some of the games, you know, and like unlock concept art and all that sort of stuff, you know. And in this one, when you get the collectibles, you get to change Knack into different characters, you know. You know, stuff like that I love. And then you have stuff like Uncharted where you collect the treasures and there's not really that much of a use for it. I think there used to be money in Uncharted 1, 2 and 3. And I think if you collected the treasures, then it unlocked money and then you spent the money on like bonus costumes to wear, you know. Sort of thing like that. Because it was linked to the achievements of the game, the trophies and that. So, yeah, I don't know. The treasures are not, they're not completely worthless, but also not that good. And then you've got stuff like Assassin's Creed, where you need to open up 200 chests. <laughs> I hate stuff like that. Well, there was a goblin there then. We're starting to get quite tall, actually. Uh-oh. I was not ready for a boss fight. Oh, look, he's naked. Oh, hey, mate. There's none of that. None of that. Stop getting nude. I don't swing that way. Stop it. No, leave me alone. That's how you defeat people in real life. You slowly knock off all of their uh, clothes. Oh! Oh, okay. As long as there's no more big guys. Oh, oh shit! It's an orgy. Ah, ah, leave me alone. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, no! Stop it! I love it when you go small and they all rush at you. Proper bullies, isn't they? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get ready, get ready for it. Right, do as much damage as we can before this ends. Obviously, you want to focus on the big guys. Whilst that thing is up, then you're immune. Once it ends, then you've got like a second health bar. Man, I've got no second health bar now. Where am I? Oh shit, I was looking at a go- Oh, I was looking at a goblin. I thought I was a goblin for some reason. Oh, I've not got time for this. I've only got like two minutes left. <laughs> Oh. oh! Come over here a minute, you git. Come over here. Come over and see this. Ha! Well, you recovered from your stun quick, didn't you? <laughs> oh, come on. Why do I keep doing that? Look, I'm sorry. I'll leave, okay? I'll go home. Lucas brought me here. Why don't you beat up Lucas? Oh, come on. I killed you in like one go last time. Why am I being stupid now? When he does that really hard hit, when he does that like proper whack on the floor, it's impossible to dodge. Like if he's right near you when he does it, no matter which way you dodge, he still gets you with it. Stop blocking everything, you sod. I gotta end the video, well nah, but we're gonna carry on anyway.
Leave me alone. Oh, this ain't gonna be very good. I'm gonna have to rely on me, old. Ah! Oh, come on! Oh! No! Run for it, little knack! Oh! Watch out, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump! Okay, he didn't jump. Ah, I was ready for it that time with your stupid blocking. Oh, give it a break! Look at them two cheering over there. Not helping me though, are they? Yes! Okay. We'll have to go in there next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Wolf Morphess. What a way to end the video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!